I would say the best way for a beginner to learn how to string is to become a member of one of the associations, see the video that we have on head.com which shows how to string a racket from A to Z. So we cover all of the basics which is how to start, how to do the mains, how to do the crosses, how to tie the knots and basically A to Z. So check out the video on, on head.com and you can see exactly how it's done and then just take the time to keep studying it as you go along and uh, that will teach you how to string a racket. Well there is a relatively established and I would even call it an old rule of thumb which says that uh, you would restring your racket as often per year as you play per week. But this rule of thumb goes back to the time when uh, mainly synthetic gut strings or synthetic and nylon strings were used. In today's game with uh, a lot of monofilaments uh, being used and played, um, for example pro players they change their racket or they change the string in their racket um, per match. So like you can take it from here for yourself and we recommend if you use monofilament strings even to restring more often. Okay, we divide this question into two parts. So understanding the tension, it means basically the lower the tension is, the more power you usually get uh, when you hit the ball. Uh, the tighter you go with your tension or the higher you go with your tension, the more control you would achieve. The setting process itself is basically made on the machine where you basically set uh, the tension uh, range that you want to use and it depends also on the quality of the stringer how tight your string bed will be after the string job is done. Well we basically divide into four major parts which is natural gut, then synthetics, multifilament and monofilament strings. Each of those categories come with certain benefits uh, in terms of the playability from extremely powerful uh, with a lot of touch and feel to very control oriented which are the typically the monofilament strings. There are two main ways of starting to string a racket, the mains. Um, both of those methods using the starting block or the standard clamp with a, a starting clamp behind it, both of those methods are actually shown in a video that's, uh, that I've done on head.com. One of the most asked questions of, of the stringers is how long does it take to string a racket? Well, it really takes as long as it takes to do a good job. Some stringers are faster, some are slower. So the actual time taken is, I say it was immaterial. It is actually all about getting the right job the, the perfect string job finished. So in tournaments, we do them anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes for a racket. We also work on, in a tournament environment, where we do five rackets every two hours, and that includes a little break, cutting out strings and um, things like that. But a beginner will take an hour, an hour and a half when they start, and then slowly that time will come down. So to answer the question of how long does it take a string to take to string a racket, I would say anywhere between 15 minutes and an hour. Um, we, the rule of thumb is that it's in between 15 grams to 20 grams. It always depends uh, on the material of the string, on the gauge of the string, and also kind of which kind of racket and string pattern you're actually stringing up. But 15 to 20 is the range that you can calculate in. There are basically three to four types if you want it to divide. So it's basically a drop weight machine where, where there is no electronics involved. Uh, you got a crank machine, you got ele electric machines and you got electronic machines basically. Um, no, there are no real limitations. There might be some very special frames out of the history of tennis. Like I don't have all of them in my head but there might be some that might not perfectly fit into a six point or even a two or four point stringing machine where you might need the extra tool that usually the manufacturer of those kind of special frames would have delivered with that kind of racket. The mounting system most used in Europe is the six points where we have these supports, these supports, the six and twelve. Often in the US there is a two point mounting 
which is just the 6 and 12. Um, in the US, it's, it's slightly more accepted than here in Europe. We, we tend to prefer the six points, which all the professional machines tend to use six points, and it is only the slightly older machines that use the, the two point. So to answer the question of which, best, which is the best mounting system, from my experience, I would say the six point, which is what all of the brands that make professional machines use. One of the major questions that is always asked of stringers is, which is your favorite machine? Well, to look at what is a really good stringing machine, it is all about the ease of use. How easy is it to use? How precise is it? Um, how easy are the clamps to, to move? Is it ergonomic? So is everything in the place that it needs to be? So the tension head, everything is within um, the space that you need to do. Um, is it precise? So once we use all of those um, different um, aspects, then we find how what a good machine is. Um, this machine is very, very easy to move around. It self-calibrates. And I would say that that's probably one of the, the main parts, although materials where the stiffness of the tension of the turntable is very, very important. So all of those is what makes up a very good stringing machine. If we look at the machines that are most used in tournament settings and by professional stringers, we will always look and we will always see swivel clamps. We tend not to see the clamps on the glide bars, which tend to be from a crank machine, which is an older style. So all modern machines tend to have fixed swivel clamps. With a head stringing machine, you actually get the full package, meaning you get the entire stringing machine with all the tools delivered to build up the machine and also all the tools to basically start stringing. So there's nothing that you need to buy extra um, to just start stringing a tennis racket or badminton, racquetball, squash, whatever you want to string as a, as a racket.